Welcome back to the Brew Tank Brew Buzz, where today we're going to be making a boche, but not just any boche, one in the crock pot. Let's get started. Today we're going to use fresh star sands, four pounds of raw wildflower honey, our little big mouth bubbler, three and a half quarts of water, D47 yeast, go firm, yeast nutrient, cheap vodka or sterile water if you prefer, a measuring cup, measuring spoons, and our yeast pitching bowl. Also, you'll want a hydrometer and graduated cylinder to take your original gravity readings. Let's prepare our area for mead making. As always, sanitization first. Now before we pour our water into the carboy, we're going to reserve two cups off to the side and warm it in the microwave. Once that water is warm, we're going to pour in our D47 yeast in. Next, we add in our GoFirm nutrient. Once we empty the rest of our water into the carboy, let's grab our honey from the crock pot once we're satisfied with the flavor and coloring. And now for the honey shot. I've never had a boche before, so this is going to be new to me. Some people say there are notes of coffee, toffee, and marshmallow, which is kind of exciting. I'd like to see where this goes, and given the flavor profile described, would love to experiment with it further blending mesquite or buckwheat honey to back sweet. Now, in preparing the boche, you want to stir and caramelize for a good 45 minutes or more. It's good to set a timer and have a plate off to the side to look at the colors and sample. You can go up to two hours caramelizing, but I don't want to overdo it and ruin my first boche experience by burning expensive honey. Give it a good stir. Make sure to introduce oxygen into the musk for the yeast so they will not get stressed during fermentation. Now we say our yard caulk and pitch. Okay, after pitching is done, I'm going to give it a few more stirs. Okay, let's take a gravity reading with our hydrometer. Looks like we're at 1.11, I'd say. So we're going to get an ABV of about 13%. Now the caramelized sugars in here will actually provide some sweetness, but it's gonna probably get dry. Then we tighten up the lid with our airlock on. And fill up with your choice of vodka or sanitized water. All right, all that's left is to give it some time and hopefully we got a sweet and bold boche on our hands. These do better with age, so you may need to let these age out longer than a traditional. Hope you all give it a try and tell me about your experience in the comment section below. And if you like my videos and want to see more, then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Cheers.